Welcome back to Politics on Your Side. We're looking forward to the 2018 elections, which could shake things up in the state legislature this November, as well as nationwide. In the state legislature, that includes House District 60, which covers South Tampa and goes all the way down to Ruskin, among other areas. The seat is currently held by Republican Jackie Toledo. Joining me now is the Democratic candidate for the race for that district, Deborah Belanti. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having me. All right, so first things first, uh, the, the March for Our Lives mm -hmm. yesterday huge response to the Parkland school shooting mm -hmm. and gun violence as a whole. Where do you stand on gun control? Do you think our laws are okay or do they need to be changed? Well, I'm, I'm, I support the Second Amendment. I am not a gun owner. Um, and I don't think anybody wants to take away guns from responsible gun owners. But I'm also a mother of an elementary school kid and her safety is paramount as well as all the other children in school. So do I think they were steps in the right direction with the safety package they passed? Absolutely. But the problem I have is there's still loopholes. And another problem I have is they've mandated all these things to the schools, but they didn't provide funding for them. So we were already low in our education funding package and they've taken more money out of that for that. So it's kind of a mixed bag for me. Um, and I also don't think we listened to the students in Parkland. They asked for the ban of assault rifles and also to high, high capacity magazines as well as not arming teachers. And we didn't listen. And I have a problem with that as well. We should be discussing some of those things. Let me press you there. Do you support a ban on semi-automatic military style rifles? Obviously that definition needs to be clarified. But yes, uh, that definition should be clarified. But yes, I, I do uh, support that ban. Okay, yes. and high capacity magazines? Absolutely support that ban. Okay, um, and you mentioned obviously that uh, the school safety and education funding, the governor passed the budget this week. Uh, do, do you think, they, you don't think obviously that they're doing enough to fund schools? Mm -hmm. What would you do differently? Well, I would actually do my job as a legislature. They actually only have two jobs per their constitution, to pass a balanced budget and to fully fund an equitable, equitable public education system. And it's not fully funded. In fact, the numbers for funding are finally back up to pre-recession rates of 2007, I think. But we're still 47th in the, in the nation for funding. Um, and it's not just about you know, my self-interest as a mother of a, and in public school. Um, I'm a product of public school. I'm a product of Head Start. I'm a product of free and reduced lunch. I know the importance our schools play in our communities. Um, and I also know the economic interest it plays. Headquarters for corporations will not be placed here if our school systems aren't up to snuff, and they're not. A lot of District 60 is water, which means mm -hmm. a lot of your constituents probably spend a lot of time mm -hmm. on the coast. Yep. What is your plan to protect our waterways? Well, I am, I am also a, a, a supporter of environmental protection. I think that we should have a responsible growth in this district so that we uh, allow growth, because that's important for, for growth in the state, but we do it responsibly that we don't affect the, our waterways, our drinking water, and our coastlines. Transportation always a hot button mm -hmm. issue in this area. Is there anything that you would change? Any mass transportation system that you would introduce? You know what? I, I think the, the, the challenge we have with transportation is everybody has one view of what they think the answer is, and it isn't one answer. Uh, it should be multimodal. Uh, I believe in walking space. I like walking cities so that I, we enjoy walking to dinner and riding our bikes down the riverfront. Um, and I think most people want that. I also think transportation is a challenge because we don't have enough affordable housing in the areas where there is work. Mm. So if there was um, affordable housing for people to actually live in the city instead of having to drive back and forth, that would actually cut down on our transportation problems as well. What about plans to improve the transportation system? Do you support the fact that we use so many toll roads in this area? Um, yeah, yes and no. I mean, I think it's it, if the money uh, helps infrastructure and build more transportation um, you know, venues for us, absolutely. But there are people who can't afford to get on the, the toll roads. They can't afford that. They can't afford the gas to get from, from A, to, to A to B. So um, it's a mixed bag and it is, a, it is a challenge for us. It's a challenge not just for us, but across the state of Florida. Um, we don't want to become LA. Um, you know, before Atlanta had MARTA, uh, they discussed it for months and said it's a bad idea, it's a bad investment. Now they rely on it. Mm. So I think we really need to be thinking much forward than 10 years and what we're doing with our transportation. Let's hope the sprawl here never gets as bad as it does in no, Atlanta because not. it's yeah. terrible there. Yeah. Uh, you're a small business owner. Mm -hmm. What do you have any plans to improve the plight of small businesses in the state? Yeah, absolutely. I think that what, what happens, and it's happened just from the federal level down, the working class and a lot of people who own small business are getting squeezed, right? I, I'm, I'm waiting to see what the tax package does for us. Mm. Um, you know, we may get some relief, but it's gone in, you know, 10 years. So I would fight for um, uh, more um, uh, tax relief for small businesses, maybe some more loans so that um, so maybe even our mi minority uh, community can actually start their own businesses. I'm, I'm for that. Uh, anything we can do to, because it is, small businesses are the backbone of our country, period. Um, and I think that we should be doing more for them. 
What do you see happening in November? We've got the. Uh, do you believe that there's going to be a big Democratic blue wave that mm. that rides an anti-Trump sentiment? We always we know that midterm elections are difficult are. on the party that's in power. Right, um, and we also know that Democrats need to come out and vote. All right, they midterms they tend to be a little bit lower. They don't show up. They show up in presidential. So what I'm doing as part of my strategy, my campaign, is to get everybody to understand the importance of voting. So like for instance, yesterday at March for Lives, I registered voters. That's what I did while I was there. Uh, registered 52 new voters with a group of women, some of uh, moms from South Tampa. Um, so I'm going to speak about the importance of voting and getting people out to vote. If if all the Democrats show up, the Democrats will win. Um, if they stay home and decide this is not the election or the elections don't matter. The wave may not happen, but I'm counting on this district, and I have spoken to my, most of the people who live in this district, They're, they want some change. There's some forecasting there for, mm -hmm. for you from uh, House District 60 candidate Deborah Belanti. Thank you so much thank for coming so much. in. We thank very you. much appreciate getting to know you a little bit better. Wonderful. Thank, thank you. you. We'll be right back, folks.